everybody. It is me, Tia Torres, with another episode of, obviously, the Tia Talk podcast. So the day is Monday, and uh, we're getting ready for a potential hurricane. Yes, the weathermen said that we are in for a rough ride this week. Uh, If it doesn't make hurricane status, it is at least going to be a pretty wicked tropical storm which can do a lot of damage as well. You know, this is not our first rodeo course. Uh, We've been through, oh, let's see, how many hurricanes? We've been through Hurricane Isaac, Barry, which is just a blip for us, Uh, Laura, Zeta, or Zeta, and Ida. I don't know, maybe five since we've been here? You know, it kind of, just makes me remember when we were leaving California, all of our friends, even my family, first thing out of their mouth, why would you go to Louisiana? Look what happened during Hurricane Katrina. And I'm thinking, you know, it's not like they have a Hurricane Katrina every year. And that's all especially back then, anybody associated Louisiana with was Hurricane Katrina, which I get was devastating. But I had to kind of, you know, look look sideways at all of my friends and family. And I'm thinking, you know, we live in the worst part of California where all the wildflowers are. Like every year is a wildfire. Every year for us, whether it got too close for comfort, or it hit us spot on. We were always in fear of the wildfires. And what did come for us every year, religiously, were the Santa Ana winds. Every year. And we lived in a um, in the high desert, in like a valley. So when the Santa Anas came through there, whoo, they get into that little valley. And they were, you know, three times as fast and powerful as they were at the end of the road. So you combine the Santa Ana winds with fire season, and it was just, it was, it was horrific. It was very, very scary. So we dealt with that every year. Uh, and let me tell you something. <laughs> now that I've been through hurricanes and flooding, uh, yeah, I'll take a hurricane and some water any day over a wildfire. Any day. So, yeah, you know, we get anxious, we get nervous, and and it wouldn't be as bad if we didn't have so many lives that depend on us. So you figure we got hundreds of dogs, we got cats, you know, kitty cats. We have employees with their families and their kids, you know, and we, we don't just tell them, hey, you're on your own. You know, if the power goes out, we race around and try to get them a generator to their house. And, you know, those that do want to evacuate, we completely understand. But it's just, um, I mean, knock on wood. I'm I'm knocking on my head when I say that. (laughs) Knock on wood. We haven't had a hurricane in like three years. Yeah. See, all my friends and family in California, there's nothing to worry about. So. I guess it was due time. They say it does come in three, so it's been three years. So we got one coming in a few days. Um, Again, we won't know quite how bad um, until, you know, maybe like the next couple of days. And hurricanes are predictably unpredictable. You know, the, the weather 
man and the weather women and the meteor meteorologists. It's a mouthful. It, it, they can predict it to a certain extent, but you know they can change directions. They can speed up, slow down. Um, and I just went out back because for me, I, I kind of got ahead of myself there for a second. For me, even though I live out in the swamp, I'm not really worried about flooding because I don't, you know, live directly on the coast. Um, like our New Orleans location, we were always worried about that one because it's right there. But even though I live near a body of water, there's not necessarily a storm surge because we're not on the ocean right here. What I worry about are these big old cypress trees that surround my house. And I'm talking some big ones. I just went out back and counted the ones to worry about if the wind gets bad. And there are eight. Eight back there. And the front of my place is okay. Um, any trees out front are not that big. And if they did crash onto top, you know, top of the house, it wouldn't kill anybody. It definitely do some damage. But there's eight big old cypress trees out there. And my, of course, my room's in the back. So I think for the storm, I'm going to bring all the dogs up front, drag their crates up here. And uh, we'll hunker down up front, go grab my cats and crate them. I'm not sure where I'm going to create them because I can't put them near the dogs. But, um, yeah, it's a common. I think her name's going to be Francine, if they said if she makes it to a hurricane status. So the whole point of this episode, I got totally sidetracked, is to let y'all know that you're not going to be hearing me from me for the rest of the week. I'm just going to be doing storm prep. And um, so this will be my last episode for this week until next monday all right well y'all have a have a good week and send us your luck and uh like they say my mission is to rescue and let's hope we're not the ones that need it oh boy all right y'all we'll check in with you next week i think i said that already right <laughs>